Hi, Tara here. I thought I would give a quick tutorial of something that I'm doing today and I worked on yesterday, which was replacing a battery in your watch. Um, my daughter started junior high and she needs a watch and she got one as a gift, but it um, didn't have a fresh battery in it. And I figured it can't be too complicated to change the batteries in watches. And in the past, I've brought it to watch repair places but you pay, you know, I don't know, anywhere from 15 to $25 for them to do it. And um, from what I've seen now, don't be intimidated. You could do it too. Um, what I did was on Amazon, and this will be for a Tissot uh, watch. Those are the ones that I have. And my daughter got one that was called Rumor with like a leather band that you can open. The Tissot is a metal, so you just have to kind of move this band to the side. You see, I already popped off the back. And I looked online on Amazon what type of things they had and they sell kits. I didn't buy a watch repair kit, but they had a tool that looks kind of similar to something that I had for my like art supplies. I mean, you just need something really thin to pop off the lid. So this was the lid for the Tissot watch. And when I put it back together, I'll show you where I popped it off, but there was like a little lip like on the corner near the band that it was easy on one of the little corner edges to pop it off. <clears throat> so yeah, so I went on Amazon and I ordered the most common watch batteries and I figured, cause I didn't want to open the watches without having replacement batteries on hand. So anyways, I just ordered a plethora of batteries, um, even ones that are like for calculator batteries. So I would have on hand, cause we have a battery box in the garage and it's always ha handy to have lots of different types of batteries in case you ever need, or sometimes kid toys. But anyways, so far from these two watches, what I needed and what I got is this one here. Um, and so it ha gives us different numbers. It says for 364, 363, and the SR number is what I saw on the batteries that I took off of the watches. So the one for the girl's rumor watch, it was an SR626W, but you'll see that right on the battery that you pop out of your watch, which one you'll need. And now I just saw that for the Tissot, it needs a SR621. If you happen to have a loop, if you ever need to look at like jewelry, or I mean a magnifying glass works too, but you, if it's hard to see the number on the battery. So anyways, let's go ahead and just pop in the um, the 21, which is the one I need for this Tissot watch. And I actually have two Tissot watches that have both, you know, I haven't been wearing watches for a few years, so the batteries ran out. So I mean, if you know how to do this and you get a package like this, then you won't have to take the time to go to a battery repair shop for watches. I wouldn't, um, like, I don't know, if you have a really expensive watch, I wouldn't recommend this, but I mean, a Tissot watch is under $200 or maybe like the $250 and the rumor watch is like, you know, a $25, $30 watch. Okay. So I've got this one here. I'm just going to put it in that circle there. And there was nothing that I even had to move. Like I thought there might be screws holding the battery in place that I'd have to move, but no, see how easy I just popped it in. Let's see if it starts ticking. Oh, it's not going to start ticking because I have it pulled off. There we go. It's moving, so that's all there is to it. And I'm just going to take this piece, the back, and pop it back on. Let's see if it's as easy as the kids' rumors watch was to pop on. I just place it down and press down. It's not as easy to pop on as my other, the other watch I just repaired. Or change the battery. I saw one on a watch repair kit. They had like this little like rubber hammer and they went down, but I don't want to like break the glass. Okay, as I was trying to snap this back in, it wasn't going in very easily on the back. So I think the issue, because I just watched another video, was this like O-ring you take out, which is around here. I just took out the O-ring too. So it looks like you have to put that, and you can also clean a little bit around the edges with a Q-tip or a paper towel. 
Um, so I'm going to put this O-ring back on this piece and then snap this whole piece on the back. And then it looked like you just have to apply some pressure. Let's get this one back on. Okay, so now the O-ring, the red part is on here. And I'll try to push the back in, see if it'll pop in. I'm also gonna try to line up exactly how the backing, the label on the backing was, in case that makes a difference and it fits perfectly just in that way. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Easy to change it, but not to put the back back on. Let's see if I tap it. I don't want to break the watch. There's also a way to open the band. If it's easier to open the band, <clears throat> you just push on one of these little pieces here with a little tool and you can open the band. I think I just want to try to do it without doing that one more step if I can. Okay, I was able to get the back back on blush and secure. I don't know if it makes a difference, but on the top part, if you look at the writing in the top part, I had to start with putting it in first with the top part and then pushing, you know, the bottom part. Um, yeah, so that's how you change it. Now I'll just set the time. Uh, what time is it? 11.59, so by the time I do this, let's just say it's 12 o'clock. Oh yes, and we have a functioning watch. And I did it myself, so I feel a sense of pride. Um, yeah, so looking back, it's important to take the O-ring out as well, the plastic part, so it's part of the back case when you're gonna like slide it back in. It's easier for it to snap in. Okay, so now I just have to find my other Tissot watch and I'll do it a second time and see if it goes in a little easier once it's the second time I've done that. So good luck, don't be intimidated. Just make sure you have your watch batteries on hand. Um, you can also you know, open your watch, put it in a plastic bag with the old battery if you only wanna buy like, exactly the battery that you need, but I think these are pretty, two pretty very standard. And so far, like one of my watches had one, the other one had the, um, so the SR6, 21 and the SR626. Hope you have a good time doing it. See you in the next video.